baby, let's go! In D.C., hockey has been an escape from head-spinning political intrigue. Thousands poured into the rink to watch game two on the Jumbotron. C-A-P-S! And their hero is the undisputed czar of the swamp. How big of a star is Ovechkin in, in Washington? Oh, he's the he's the hugest star in Washington. He's our he's our man. But even in this most patriotic of American arenas, signs of the superstars' dual loyalties. Yes, that's a Russian jersey. You just look at that man. You don't even know his name or anything. He's a Russian. <laughs> he's got the teeth missing and everything. He's got the big bushy beard. Is it a big story back there that you're in the uh, Stanley Cup final? Have you heard from President Putin? You know, how big is it over there? Yeah, uh, Vladimir Putin called me and wished me luck and, you know, <laughs> now it's a joke. <laughs> or is it? Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ovechkin are close. At Ovechkin's wedding, congratulations from the president were read before the celebration turned shirtless. Should Americans be, uh, be intimidated by Putin, or is he actually like a fun, nice guy? Yeah, he's a nice guy, but no, no, no comments on politics. <laughs> well, not quite, Ovi. Before Vladimir Putin's fraudulent re-election, Ovechkin endorsed a social media movement, hashtag Putin Team Online. In this 2014 photo, Ovechkin promotes a hashtag shared by Russian nationalists supportive of Putin's invasion of Crimea. To people who know Russia, none of this comes as a surprise. The way that sports and the arts work in Russia is kind of a patronage system, and this was true in the Soviet Union, certainly perhaps even more true than it is now. But given Alexander Ovechkin's age, um, it totally makes sense that he would be close with the Kremlin because he's a product of the state. The surprise may be that as relations between the United States and Russia crater, D.C. hockey fans don't seem to care that their hero is pals with somebody many Americans see as a geopolitical supervillain. No, I don't really care about that. Sure, they, they produce great players, and you know what, I'm just here to watch, you know, some great plays and all that. Closes in, Eller to Ovechkin, scores! This is one Russian they want to see visit the White House, as long as Ovi brings the cup. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Washington. Now, Putin and Ovechkin share more than just love of country. Both have hockey in their veins, though their skill levels vary a bit. It was earlier this month in Sochi. Putin hit the ice with some former pros. It was an annual hockey festival promoting Russian sport. And it's safe to say, when it comes to skating ability, Putin is no Ovechkin. But as Russian state TV clearly shows, he can put pucks in the net as long as the goalies don't work too hard. By the end of the game, Putin had scored five times, adding up to a dominant 12-7 win over a crack squad of amateurs. A regional governor and even a pro-Kremlin billionaire were no match. But worth mentioning, Putin did have some former NHLers, Pavel Bure and Slava Fedosov, on his team. That might have helped just a little.